I'm Jamie Bunn, this is Fish Blue Water, and we are here at the 2024 Miami International Boat Show, sitting on what quite possibly could be the most anticipated release of this whole show. My buddy, my man, one of the partners, owners of CV Boats. Big year for you guys, 50th anniversary, and let's tell these guys what we got and what we're gonna show them. Well, yep, like you said, we're very excited. It's our 50th year for CV Boats. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to be a part of it for 30 years now. I've been around. grateful that you've been a partner of ours for over 20. Yeah, so here we are. So, you know, this is the 400Z. Believe it or not, this is the replacement for the 390Z. And, you know, that now, was- Now, I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, I own a 39, you know that. Yeah. It's a flagship. I absolutely love the boat, so I, I'm interested to see you show me what was the motivation between, you know, kind of transitioning out of the 39 and into the 40, as well as all yeah. these people that are gonna be potentially in the market for this boat. Perfect, so yeah, so it was not a decision that came lightly. That is our, our flagship, it's been our flagship, it's been one of our best sellers. So when we decided to replace it with a three year backlog on orders, mm -hmm. you know, we didn't take that lightly and we really did spend a lot of time bringing all the new details, all the new features, and adding a few new things to this model. Sure. So, you know, it had a, it had big shoulders to stand on. You know, you had to, you had to do a good yeah. job of, of doing it. We didn't want to mess it up. And I think uh, at well, the end of this, you tell me how we did. Well, typically you, you, you've never disappointed in anything that you've brought to the market so far. So right. I can already Let's see that this is falling in line with some of its it's Big Brothers and then yep. obviously the 37, which was the first boat to incorporate yep. these corner wells, right? All right, so let's talk about this. So yes, as you can tell, obviously we brought the corner wells. It has become a staple of the 42, 45, 37, 32, 2, and now the 400Z. It is, they're great, they're 40 gallons. We give you the see-through window. They're in the right location. And the other thing this allows you to do is to pick up a lot of room in the cockpit if you yeah. go look at any boat, we are the closest to the outboard engine of anyone out there. We brought this way back. So what that allows you to do is to fish around the engines. It allows us to use more cockpit space. And that is one of the reasons that we actually will offer this boat in a single row and a double row. So okay. we'll talk about that more. But let's talk about the back of the boat. Well, hold on. So one of the things that I'm going to try to make sure, guys, as you're watching this video that our, our, our camera operator does is really try to give you the best perspective as possible on how much floor space you pick up. Because I've, I've, been, I've owned CV boats with and without. And I, I will say, Ariel, I think that's one of the biggest, like, you know, benefits that you see in that configuration change is standing in the boat, it's significantly bigger. And the last thing I wanna say is, there's always the talk in the fishing industry about like, oh, the corner wells, the fishability. I've owned a 37 CV with these very wells and I can tell you what you pick up in terms of your ability to store bait in these corner wells and you absolutely do not lose any fishability on the corners of these transoms. Still want to fish a downrigger, not a problem. Anything in the corner of the boat, bottom fishing's not a problem. So I know that question is running through your mind and trust me, it is an absolute plus, not a minus. Yeah. So All where right. are we going to next? All right, so let's talk, the, the new layout, right? The other thing we brought to the table is we gave you dual fish boxes. So if you come and look here, these are very long boxes. They're five and a half, almost six feet long. They're Cavernous. insulated. Yep. And, uh, and it really is nice here in the back of the boat, you have dual box. About how far does that does that space run up? Pretty far, about five and a half, almost six feet. Okay. So it's a, it's a big box. Let's look at this too real quick here because this is just another example of the attention to detail that comes with a CV boat. Like, I wouldn't necessarily considered it, but they've given you a measuring tool, you know, for species of fish, obviously you have legal limits and size requirements with FWC on dolphin, things of that nature. So very cool to have that right on the underside of a fish storage hatch. Yep. So another thing that's become very important is a sea keeper. So this boat comes with a dedicated sea keeper compartment. It's designed to house the sea keeper three, which you see. Mm -hmm. The other really nice feature here is we can access this thing. On a lot of boats, you're going through a hatch, through another hatch, crawling in a hole to get to it. You can get to this thing, you can maintain it. It is an expensive piece of equipment. It does require a little maintenance, and uh, what, honestly, um, it makes it easy to access. What 
What um, what percentage of your boat orders would you say come with a Sea Keeper these days? From let's say from the you know this size boat and up. You know that grows. It's hard to say exactly, but I, I'm 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 vis envisioning this boat will be a 50/50 Sea Keeper, not Sea Keeper. Yeah. Our bigger boats are probably pushing 60, 70% yeah. Sea Keepers. You know, we give you the ability to have the Sea Keeper or turn this into another live well if you want or another cooler. So we don't force you to have it on every boat. While we're talking about Sea Keeper, shameless plug for our sponsor, Land and Sea Professionals. He's talking about maintenance. These guys sponsor our Sailfish Series. They are a, land, a Sea Keeper certified dealer at service center. So you ever need to have it serviced, talk to my man, Jonathan Capic at uh, Land and Sea Professionals, also veteran owned. Yeah, I promise you he'll love the access here. I bet you he will. All right, All right what so, else we got? You know, this is typical of our 42, 45, but we did come up with something new. So on this boat, we offer you a stern anchor option. So if you like to go to the sandbar, if you just want to carry an extra anchor that on the boat. That is super cool, because if I remember correctly, this has been some space in the past, depending upon how the hatch is configured, that has not necessarily been utilized space. So have you taken this and made, as far as in the bilge area, the, the space available to have this drop-in insert with the anchor? So this took some, some real thinking. You think, oh, they just used that space. No, so what we did is we actually widened the aft bilge okay. so we could narrow it a little bit. Uh, this area typically, so this would be an optional uh, stern anchor or it would be an optional place to put your rocket launcher yep so you can't have both either you would have a rocket but launcher have or a you choice. Would have, but you know that typically the guy that has a rocket launcher probably is not going to the sandbar as right. much so you know it's really that you, you, you get to tailor the boat how you want to I'm build. not a I you know I'm not a huge sandbar guy so it would be a tough choice for me but I can tell you I'm always when I do go to the sandbar with friends and family I'm always grappling with where do I put this stupid stern anchor I mean, that's brilliant. Yeah, so Honestly, it's a gr brilliant. great location. Yeah. So another thing I mentioned is we did a much wider bilge. So we have so much going on in our bilges. You know, our guys typically have a lot of pumps, mm -hmm. a lot of live wall systems, uh, strainer systems to be able to control the fish boxes so we don't dump stuff in. So we widen this bilge and we- uh, I see some Jim Lux valves and some plumbing down there as well. Yeah, so we've got this, the sea chest which is in this one, we actually have a sea chest with a manifold system okay. from Best Marine. Okay. So if you come here and look at this, we mounted a manifold system, which we'll, we'll get the camera to take a peek at. So Very you, nice. you can control it from here. You don't have to crawl back inside. Very nice. All right. So going forward, we have our rear facing seat. Uh, one thing about the seating that we build, it's very comfortable. You're able to sit, your feet are on the ground. You've got the right angle here. Mm -hmm. um, so now you have your insulated cooler, you have your rear facing seat, which we've, this we have used before. Split. Is this, uh, now is this the standard or an option depending on how they want to configure the console and the seating? Well, really it's an option because if you made it standard, then it wouldn't work for the double row. Right. So you don't get a leaning post or a seat, you kind of add that. So you get to choose either a double row with the integrated seat, uh, uh, I'm sorry, a, a single row with the integrated seat, a single row with a slide out cooler, or a double row with a slide Three out options. cooler, or yeah. So it, there's a lot of different flavors. And uh, this is also something for you guys to know that was also part of the inspiration on the shift, the decision to move from the 39 to the 40Z, right? Mm -hmm. Is that this space and configuration gives you guys the option for the double row, whereas there wasn't the room to do that. In Correct. The so this Correct. new layout allows yeah. us to go to double row, which has become very popular. Another thing we've gone to is all magnets on all our cushions. So if you pull this off, if you're going to go fishing, you can put this away. One thing that's really nice is you can access all your tackle storage, right? So you've got your tackle storage, you have your boxes, and then we decided this space was wasted. So ah. we added another set of drawers down here. So this is a new option that we just brought out for this boat as well. Always a little wizardry going on here at yeah, CG Boats. Yeah, that's, you know, and then you've got deep storage in here. Obviously on this one, since we have the oversized top, we don't have any rod holders, but if you did the regular top or the tower, you could have rod holders here and again, have more tackle storage. And this boat has an oversized top because Ralph, also a partner, one of the engineering geniuses behind these boats, I think he likes sandbars more than fishing. Well, no, so. he's, he's fishing quite a bit more okay, now. Okay, okay. But he does like his oversized all top. All right. And they do enjoy the, the comfort of the rear-facing seat. So now let's work our way up. 
Uh, we'll skip this seat and we're gonna go right to the console because this is completely from the ground up, brand new console. So this concept, we brought this console from the 4245 and we kind of did a hybrid between the 39 console. So it's six inches wider. Mm -hmm. These are 24 inch displays with plenty of room on either side. Massive. He still has cell phone chargers here, a big dash. So that's the, the new thing today, flush mounted electronics larger pieces of electronics this so, is super cool because everybody's always you know even with the dash that little pocket area it becomes like a dumpster everybody just throws their stuff in there yeah. so it's nice to have like intention and purpose behind this goes here that goes there and let's keep it organized yeah so uh, yep and bringing that up since everybody dumps everything we built you a small glove box here for ah, phones okay perfect. we put one on either side one thing you'll notice is we put the glove box in front of the cup holders so when you're grabbing your drink, you're not having to reach over the cup hole, over the glove box. And we gave you two of them. On this side, he opted to put his keys inside. On that one, he kept it for storage. Okay. Another thing that we brought from the bigger boats is this pad. So everybody wants to put their foot on the dash. Mm -hmm. So we actually created a dedicated area. So sure. when you're running, people can actually put their feet and they're not all over your switches. This I'm noticing is different as well. You've, you've created a lip here, right? Is that correct? So which for just some additional storage right, or so anything? It's based, so if you throw something there, it's not gonna, not slide, gonna slide back. Off. We had that before, but it was a, let, a lot less pronounced. Okay. Another thing you'll notice is the one piece wrap around Isinglass. So this console has the design so, the, so that we could build the radius into the Isinglass. There is amazing visibility yeah, from here. No. There's, no. you know, it's it's like, it's impressive that wrap around you don't get those corner pieces of yeah. Of I was just gonna material. say it's super nice to be able to. I've always been envious of of those other like even the walk around style boats where you get that full pane of glass and this is this is simulating that but in more of like a I guess what did they call it like strata glass or that it's all a polycarbonate glass. glass. Another thing you'll so. notice is a lot of our competitors will end their glass up here, uh -huh. but that's where you know yeah that absolutely. cross water or right. that cross wind when it's raining. So by bringing this further back, like all our other boats, we're able to keep you a lot drier. Gotcha. And we do protect the helm. So another thing you'll notice is we're, we're fabricating our own dashes now on the 40, on the 40, 42, and 45. So we, we're, you know, we're custom designing it. We're, we can label anything you want and we can do any layout here. Another interesting thing is this is an actual helm pod. So this piece gets rigged separately. And the idea is you can either hydro dip it, you can faux paint it, or if somebody wants to actually fabricate a wood helm pod, we could interlay like a, teak, a, a, teak. a teak pod. Right. But sure. you know, honestly, with the foam painting and the can hydro dipping, just like it. you can do it and have it sure. all in fiberglass. So right. Absolutely. again, one thing you'll really notice is the width. This console's six inches wider. We gave you a lot more room. We still kept the a visibility. You know, even somebody, I'm not a tall person, I can see the bow. You know, one of my pet peeves is if I'm standing at the helm, I need to see the front of my boat. Sure. If you can't see the front of the boat, you don't have any depth perception. Absolutely. Right. So no, let's talk beautiful. about let's talk about this chairs. So this is something that again Ralph designed. He wanted to have individual chairs, but he didn't want to give up the storage underneath the leaning post. So he put a full actu he actuates the entire seat bottom, left the seat backs in, and created this folding seat. You don't lose the storage under. You don't lose the storage because nice. every time you do a ladder back chair system, mm -hmm. you, you got to cut down and you lose that storage. Right. So this was a pretty new and genius well, idea that we've been doing for a while, but you know, it really think, worked well. I think, you know, kudos to you guys for putting that kind of thought into this little stuff because while it might seem little in the grand scheme of things, I think where this stuff really becomes magnified is in a boat like this, you're going to do a lot of traveling, right? And when you start traveling, you're putting more people, you're putting more stuff, and you know, you start filling cavities and spaces fast. So like you said, no wasted space. Utilize everything you can because there will come times, and that's what separates, I think, like exceptional boats from boats that the, you can see the thought wasn't put into it. Correct, so most, most never people, the case with you guys. to be honest, most people would say, hey, I want a ladder back chair. They'd cut it down, they'd slap a ladder back chair, Leave it at that. but they never spent time on the water and said, hey, that's where my, bag goes that's where you know my phone is right. that's where my, my wife's purse phone, is my, my all that e story my whatever right so know? they they don't understand the value of this stuff until you actually use it the difference is you know we're on the water all the time and you know we're and always it's using too late boats. then they got to call you and come order a cv that's it all right <laughs> so let's keep going sure. so 
So Jamie, one thing you'll see again is we kept the rod holders. Like every CV, sure. you know, rod holder placement is important. The best place, in my opinion, to store a rod is on the side of the console. Right. So and you can never, you just can't have enough rod holders on the. So boat. you can bring 18 of those and keep them on the console. Absolutely. So as you can tell, this is wider. And let me show you the new door system. So we went to a new electric actuator. Yes, we uh, replaced the pneumatic system. Okay. Uh, and one thing you'll notice is we made it very accessible. So you can actually walk into this console, access all your electronics. And again, you'll see the fit, finish, and the details that we're known for, yeah. in, even in the parts that you don't see from, you know, without opening a hatch. So we're it's like a new car. I love the smell of new fiberglass. That's it. <laughs> so go ahead and close that up. Just hold it down. You can stop it at any position. So okay. if you want to leave it slightly open right so there. somebody can walk by okay. or anything like that. So it's really or cool. Or if a guy's really irritating me on the team and I get him just where he thinks he's getting out and then I just close him right in the console. That's <laughs> it. So there's, a, there's an emergency release latch so you ladies don't freak out. Okay. There's an emergency release latch below so your Perfect. husband cannot lock you in the console. So this is, uh, is this kind of considered like uh, it's like this the LE version with Correct. forward seating and yeah, stuff? Yeah, our luxury edition. So, okay. you know, Ralph likes to fish, but he also likes to entertain and have a good time on the boat. So he did the forward seating. So again, up here we offer the open bow, we offer the forward seating, and we offer a coffin box option, mm -hmm. which I just put in my boat for the first time and I really do love it. Yeah, I have so, a coffin box on my 30. So yeah, so we, and you didn't lose anything. Again, we split these hatches, so you still have all the storage below here. So this is storage that yep. basically it goes all, all the way, way forward. You can put them. rods in there, eight wow. foot rods. Let me just give you guys a little perspective here. Oh no, oh no. Are we closing the hatch? Yeah. That's, that's, that's how far. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's, where's Waldo? All right, Jamie. Let me know if I gotta get you out. Need a hand? So if you were wondering, if they use, make use of all the space in their boat. I'm a six foot guy that just crawled into that hatch, which is smaller than the hatch in the back of the boat. I'm out of shape, but you know, just bear with me here. All right. So again, if you wanted to do a forward live well, here is an 80 gallon forward live well. Wow. Okay. This can be an insulated box or it can be storage. So the boat comes standard with three fish boxes, one here and two in the back. Okay. So as this sits right now, is this insulated or is he just using he it for used storage? It, he insulated it and just kept it for storage. So this could be a great chill box just for if you're bottom fishing Correct. and you just want to, you don't want to use the whole fish box. Clean ice here, you know, your bottom fish here, something like that. Yep, yep, yep. It's, again, it's, it's really made for what you want to use right, the boat for. Right. So why don't we work, walk our way up to the bow and, do it. and talk about Let's, that. Let's do it. So here we are in the front of the boat again plenty of room you know there's no pinch zone up here even though you have the forward seats you can still come up here fish a kite fish the bow Absolutely. you know one thing to keep in mind this boat even though it seems when you're from where it is it's considerably bigger than our 39 this boat is eight inches taller four inches longer and four inches wider and 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 you would think you know, that's not a lot, but it is a massive difference. And mm -hmm. let's kind of talk about that. Look look at all the room we have yeah, up here. Yeah, no, no, I mean, it's... You know, we can fish the corners, you can get up here, you've got access to the windlass, there's no pinch zone up mm -hmm. here. You still have this massive fish box, which I'm gonna open for you. You've got the two loungers. What I, do we got here on the side of this? So this, this is, is your safety gear storage, your towel storage. Okay. Again, we didn't want to waste that. Right. On the open fisherman model, it's all safety gear. On this, it can be towels for the ladies, extra stuff. And again, you know, the headrests go up and down electrically. Mm -hmm. A new feature is single opening hatch now. So in the old days, you had to remove the cushion and then open the hatch. Mm -hmm. Now we integrated it all into one with this new uh, latch system. Very cool. We're really happy with that. We recessed the switch so nobody bumps it. So this is your up and down actuation. We recess the speakers. And come on back here, I'm gonna show you something. Nice. Another complaint we had was trying to open this fish box with these things, with these bot, with these loungers here. So now, and you talk about big. I mean, this right. is massive. Did it used to open this way and now you Now open it's opening this way. Right. So only when you put the seats in. Right. When you do an open configuration, we'll split the hatch. 
side to side. Okay, and when you do a coffin box, we'll split the hat. Right. But I mean, you know, look at this, I'm the low, it's above the knees. Wow. Now, one thing to keep in mind, like we talked about earlier, this boat is considerably bigger, but we kept the identical combing height through the entire boat. Mm -hmm. So if you were to walk on your 39 here, it is identical height because that was important because the guys, you know, what they love about that boat is the fishability. Absolutely. You can be in a harness, you can be in light tackle, right. you can have a kid. Right. It's high enough that you're not going to fall out, but it's not one of these where you're reeling above your head. Yeah. No, I, I can feel that just standing up here on the forward part of the boat. So an advantage of that that we didn't talk about is we were able to grow the compartments below, okay, because we raised the floor in essence eight inches. Mm -hmm. Another advantage is this has three fuel tanks, 650 gallons of fuel. Wow. So this boat has an incredible amount of fuel standard. Let's talk about that for a minute because I know the one thing we haven't talked about is, is the power plant or the power configuration. I haven't, you and I haven't talked directly, but I've heard some pretty exceptional things from some of the testing that I've heard has gone on with this boat and the power that you have on it right Yeah, now. so we run this boat. This has got triple 400 V10s. We had four guys, uh, 200 plus gallons of fuel on it. Our, our first run, the boat ran 65 miles an hour. Wow. Uh, cruised triples. into the 40, 45 foot, 45 mile an hour and doing about 0.9. I mean, we saw 0.1 on those very light right. conditions, but about a 0.9 to the gallon, giving you a 500 mile range out of the box without adding any additional fuel to the boat. Amazing. 500 mile Incredible. range. So we're excited about that. Do you anticipate the majority of the builds will be in a triple configuration or will this also be available in quads or how, what's, how does that work? You know our customers, <laughs> they're, they're gonna be quads. Yeah. The, but, you know, but, but you can, we built a triple because uh, Ralph wanted to run a triple boat. Um, he, he really enjoys doing a triple versus a quad, but every boat so far after that that we have sold, yeah. and we have quite a few of them, uh, I'd say 90% of them are 100% are quads. Yeah, uh, I was gonna say for me, like three engines, three tanks, and knowing that I'm doing 65 miles an hour with a set of V10s on the back, um, I, I, I would be like, yeah, that's perfectly enough for me. But hey, you know, if, well, we're if gonna, you just want to have those four motors on the back. It's going to be a four motor boat, I think. And yeah. it'll be a 75 mile an hour boat with a 55 mile an hour cruise, you know. Wow. Yeah, you're not going to do that all the time. But when you want to, you can. Right. You know, when you're, when you're at this level, really, what's another motor? So I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, this informational video. We are live at the boat show. We're getting this up live during the show. Um, obviously, if you're local or planning to come to the show, they're inside the, uh, the convention center in the corner. And all I can tell you is, to me, Ariel, like, you know, yes, it goes without saying. There's a ton of above, above deck space, a ton of room, which is fantastic. You have to get on this boat to see it because to me, the ultimate winner is even though you have created, you know, an amazing new vessel with this 40Z, what you guys didn't omit or you didn't overlook was all the little things with just maximizing every bit of extra space that someone easily building a 40 foot boat could say, it's 40 feet. Do we need it's it? It's plenty big enough. Do we need to deal with that? Yeah. That's not your, that's not your guys' DNA. It's never been your DNA. And I think that's why you lead the way. Right. So um, on behalf of Fish Blue Water, we hope you enjoyed this video. Yep. And how, in terms of this, these boats are, available to obviously this is available to sea trial after the show you're building them now details on best way for them to contact you guys if yeah, you want so, more information so you know get us on the website look us up come by the show the boats here uh this is hall number one we actually just started laminating hall number five so we're up to number five number one two and three are single rows number four and five are double rows so at the factory we'll have every configuration and we encourage you to come take a look at it get a ride it really is a big 40. And last but not least, uh, final sale in April, which they are a sponsor of, we will have this boat or A40 on display at Regatta Grove Marina. So there may even be some sea trial opportunities there or just a, an opportunity at the event if you're in the area and you want to come check out the boat. So thanks for checking the video out. Right. We'll see you for the next Fish Blue Water video. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Jamie.